Just a quick network update for you guys from Verizon. They have released an article a little while ago that they have exceeded their 5G build plan for 2021. And now they're going to focus resources on a rapid C-band expansion. So these were kind of the targets that they hit. 2021 5G millimeter wave cell side deployments nearly doubled previous two years combined. So they deployed more in 2021 than they did the previous two years combined. That's massive. And they already hinted towards that same deployment happening in 2022. So although they are moving their focus and resources towards a rapid C-band deployment, we're still going to see another 14,000 millimeter wave nodes in 2022. 5G home and 5G business internet now available in parts of more than 60 U.S. cities. That's that's an accomplishment. That's that's a goal that they targeted. 5G ultra wide band data uses up more than 750 percent year over year. Again, that's another target. They did say that towards the end of this year, they would expect usage to hit 10 percent in the urban environment and then over time as they are able to scale it it'll hit 50 to 70 percent of of users will be on the millimeter wave traffic in the urban core so that's that's a massive massive goal that they hit 5g home internet average data use per customer matches files so verizon has been in this side of the business they know how to handle it they know how to maneuver any issues they've been a part of the home internet business they ran files that is something that t-mobile does not have experience in. they stated this on the recent conference they are new to this side they are learning so just to briefly throw that in in this video there's a there's a difference between these two verizon is building fixed wireless access if you see these millimeter wave nodes going up in your area that means they are building fixed wireless access for your neighborhood. That means they, they have the fact that they offer a cap at 50 megabits a second on LTE means they have dedicated resources for that. They're building a core for that. T-Mobile, on the other hand, have stated, this is something that they've publicly said, they are not building fixed wireless access. They're building wireless. They're just allowing customers to use the excess capacity that's there so there's a difference there that's why t-mobile home internet users have less priority versus wireless on verizon's platform when they built their fixed wireless their the fixed wireless access has priority over wireless because they have a ton of capacity and bandwidth with the millimeter wave so just take that into consideration. T-Mobile is building wireless, but they're allowing users to use up to access capacity, which is fine. And Verizon is building fixed wireless access. And in a way, Verizon is also allowing that to happen with the C-band as they naturally scale that. But I still feel Verizon is going to have a separate core and much better management for home internet versus T-Mobile. Again, T-Mobile is new to this. Maybe they learn. I'm, I'm sure they will learn and over time they they make adjustments and they fix it but verizon is already well experienced with fios they know how that home internet user acts and 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 what they use so they have they're, they're already ready for it and they're making the changes and they're adapting now so again as they hit their build target march of 2022 they want to do 100 million additional customers with um uh, pops covered with c-band they want to scale that quickly i'm sure we're going to get another update so we know between the year 2022 and 2023 they want to hit 175 million pops within the top 46 peas they really can't go beyond 200 million there's only 190 million pops of licensing that that's actively cleared they have to wait until 2023 to get all of the licensing cleared so they got some some wait time but they're also building so right now I'm already seeing they're building a densification in rural uh, with C-band that's going up. Those are new sites. So I know T-Mobile says a lot, but don't let them fool you. Verizon is building. They said they would do two to 3,000 new macros annually. They're doing that. 
They're building that densification. The densification that T-Mobile said that Verizon's CapEx is not showing that they will material, materially densify, they're densifying materially. There is new sites going in the ground. They are putting 40, 50 small cells in neighborhoods that are at one point going to get C-band. They're testing that already. So just keep that in mind. Good to see that they hit their end of year targets. There are some additional uh, statements by the CTO, Kyle. And it's it's looking good. They're moving forward and we'll see what they do in 2022. And we'll see how C-band performs once it's on air. Thanks again for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace.